Hello guys, today we're going to look at how to import 3DS files into Blender 3.5. Now, parts of this video are going to be taken from my old 3.4 video because the process is actually completely identical. Enjoy. I came across these files, I wanted to install them, and once I unpacked them, I realised they were only in 3DS format. And I quickly went to Blender and I discovered that there is no 3DS import button. Now this is odd because I remember there being a 3DS import button in a very old version. And that is actually the solution as to how you install and import new version uh, 3DS files into Blender. So you can get your version of Blender at download.blender.org release Blender 2.79. Or if you just type in Blender 2.79, Google it, the first result should take you there. You can go here where it says download the old version. And then I'm on Windows, so I'd be downloading the Windows MSI version. So you can click here, I've already downloaded it, run it, and I've already got it installed, um, but you can install it um, there. Uh, be careful if you already have a version of Blender installed that you don't install it into the same place or overwrite it. Okay, right, so once you've installed your version of Blender, then let's go to the file that you want to deal with. So I've now got multiple Blender icons on the desktop of Blender 3.4 and this old Blender here. So I open up the old Blender. I delete all the items here. Now it's a little bit different to 3.4. You have to right click to highlight things. Make sure you delete everything. And then file import and there is your 3D Studio 3DS icon. Now I've got a file here called log. There it is. And you can't see the textures or anything on there but we'll worry about that in a minute. So you go to export as an FBX file and let's put it in the log folder. And up here is the export FBX button. Right great, so that step's done. No need to save this. Now we open Blender 3.4. Okay, out of a general file. Let's get rid of the default cube. And we go to File, Import, and we're going to import an FBX file. Now, the FBX file should be in the log folder from earlier. There we go. And there we go, I've imported it. However, as you can see, it doesn't have its texture. It is without texture. So you go down to here, the textures, and you delete this and then click on new and then click on base color image texture and open and in the folder where I downloaded my log there is these texture files so I download the texture onto there fantastic it's almost done however this one also had a bump map in the normal file so I can go to shader editor and I can drag in the normal file. Uh, I think that's the right file. And attach the color node to the normal node. And there we go. All of a sudden we have something looking a lot more log-like. A um, couple of settings are off here, it's a bit too shiny and um, so on and so forth. If I turn the roughness down, I turn the speculativeness down, machine tint down, all of a sudden it starts looking a lot more log like. There we go. And that is how you install and import a 3DS file into Blender 3.4. 